even after 25 years of coaching golf, I'm still learning. And I'm gonna share with you two things that I just discovered that were so good, I gave them to my own kids. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cope, director of instruction for US Golf TV. And no matter how long we play this game, and how long we teach it, there's always new ideas. And so I got two of them that I'm gonna share with you here today, and I'm gonna give you a drill for each one of them that's gonna help you. Now we're gonna mostly focus, first of all, on rhythm and timing tempo and pivot you know if you follow any of our stuff here at us golf tv um, and we love hearing from you be sure to subscribe and ring the bell you know i got to throw that out there but you know that we love talking about the pivot because it's a big part of what we teach in the vertical line swing so we're going to talk about that then we're going to talk about contact i came across this drill actually working with my daughter there's a story behind this working with our daughter my daughter in terms of to help her improve her contact so let's dive right into it i've got a seven iron now when we talk about the pivot, everybody here knows that we're a big believer, I'm a big believer of keeping a little bit of weight on the lead foot to start. So you know where I'm going. 60-40, right? That's a cornerstone of the vertical line swing. So when we're set in there, I've got 60, I've got 40. Now early in the back swing, I'm gonna move that weight to the trail foot. But here's the key, here's the tip that I just came across, and that is that not only are you moving that weight of that pressure to your trail foot, but you've got to keep it there. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Now, I've got my main man, Nick, here behind the camera. Nick, give him a thumbs up, buddy. There, oh, there he is, okay. And it's windy today. I'm sorry, this is where we live. We live in the Midwest. It's windy, there's nothing I can do about the darn wind. I can help with golf, but I can't control the wind. Now, when it comes to the pivot, I've got the 60-40 split. I go early, but a lot of golfers, especially if you struggle with rhythm and timing, you might move to the right, if you're right-handed golfer, early in the backswing, the trail foot, but then before you complete the backswing, you start to go forward. It looks like this. I'm gonna do it in slow motion. So watch, watch the weight shift. It's gonna start lead, it's gonna go trail, but then be, as I'm completing my backswing, it's gonna go lead early, too early. So here we go. Seven iron. Okay, could you see that there? Nick might have to slow that down on the camera, but what you might have seen, or hopefully you saw there, is that the weight was left, lead, it went trail, but before I completed my arm swing, I started to go forward. Now you can see the contact was terrible there, but it also throws out your rhythm and your timing. So what do you want to do? And then let's talk about the drill. So what you want to do, is start lead and work trail, but I want you to feel like your weight is on your trail foot and it stays there until you complete the backswing. Okay, that's different than starting lead, going trail, and then going lead too early. Now you know if you've watched any of our stuff here that you gotta get your weight definitely more forward and impact, but we're talking about backswing right now. So let me go ahead and hit a shot, see if I can do it the correct way. And then we're gonna talk about the drill. So here we go, starting lead. I'm gonna go trail, stay there. Okay, that felt better. My rhythm, my timing was better. It was better, definitely better shot. Now, on a side note, I didn't plan on talking about this, but you know me, I love old golf swings, right? We love old golf swings. Jack Nicklaus, Johnny Miller, Tom Watson. You know who they're, who's your best, who, who's your favorite player of all time? Okay, put it in the comments. Who do you think had the greatest swing that lasted the longest period of time? I think it's Jack Nicklaus, quite frankly. But what did we notice with him? That when he moved to his trail foot, he lifted his lead heel. All right, so that's a tip that I would give you is that that's why I'm a big advocate in our vertical line swing that you lift the lead heel because that forces your weight to get to your trail foot and stay there. All right, so it's making sense. I hope it's making sense. If not, put those in the comments. You know my favorite question. I look for every morning when I get up, go get a cup of coffee and I respond to your comments. I love hearing where you're from, so be sure to put that in there as well. But here's the drill. The drill looks like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your regular setup Okay, and then we're gonna get into the second suggestion here that I gave to my daughter, Emily, okay? So when we're set up here, I want you to take it to the top and literally pause, and then you're gonna go hit it, okay? Let me go ahead and demonstrate, here we go. Set up, take it to the top, stop, and then go. Now the first few times you do that, it's tough. You can see I hit that little thin, didn't I? All right, the first few times you do that, that's hard. 
but that forces you to slow down that transition. And a matter of fact, if you look, I don't know all the different names, but if you look at some of the young players, especially some of the ones who are coming from what we'll call overseas, because we're here in the States, but from, from people from other countries, are doing, they're literally pausing at the top. That's their normal swing. Tells me something's going on there. All right, so that's the first thing, helps you a little bit with the rhythm and time. Now, let's talk about the second thing, and that has to do with the direction of the lead arm. This is one of the things that I have been talking about a lot here in the vertical line swing, and that is in the direction. A lot of golfers, okay, when they take it back, it goes too far inside. If you've watched any of our videos here with Nick and Jordy and our whole team, you know that, all right? Looks something like this. Here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. Lead arm goes low and inside, makes your backswing short, okay? Makes your backswing short, throws off your rhythm, your timing, all types of stuff. The checkpoint of where it should be, and then we'll talk about the drill and how you get there. The checkpoint is, and I'm gonna ask Nick to do some editing on this video, okay? He's gonna wanna put a line on here, okay? Put a line on there, so that I wanna see that checkpoint where the hands are just in line with the shoulders or slightly above it. I don't wanna see them below it, okay? So when you take it back, okay? You swing it back, feel like your lead arm works more straight back and up and is here, not down here. Let me go ahead and hit a good shot, hopefully a good shot, and then I'm gonna show you a drill to do it. Here we go, seven iron, 60-40 split, Lead arm straight back and up. Ooh, best one of the day there. I'm starting to get warmed up. Okay, hopefully you saw a little bit of different in the direction of the lead arm. Now, what's the drill we could do? Well, I gave this drill to actually one of my kids. <laughs> Worked for her, at least she told me it did. But that is by just taking the lead arm, and what you're gonna do is just get set up, okay? Grip with just your lead hand, okay? With my glove hand. Okay, you can do whatever you want with your trail hand, and just lift the lead arm, okay? Lift it up to the height where my eyes are at, see that? And then just turn and place your trail hand on it. See that, let's do it again. Notice my body angles, okay? Notice my body angles are staying the same. Lift, pivot, grab, and then, now I don't know if I would do that and actually hit a golf ball, but that's what it looks like. So let's do a three setter. All right, so you know I love the three setter, so let's go ahead and do a quick three setter. We're gonna grip it in the lead hand, maintain posture. Here we go, lift it up, eye level, turn, there's one. Lift, turn, there's two. Lift, turn, there's my three setter. Now I've got the feel. Let's just re reincorporate that feel. Ooh, solid. No matter how long you play golf, no matter how long you teach golf, you're always learning. These two things right here are two of the best things that I have learned 